Welcome to Faith and Freedom. For the next few minutes, we hope to inform, inspire, and encourage you as we discuss legal victories and challenges to your fundamental freedom and religious liberties. Faith and Freedom comes to you from Liberty Council, a civil liberties education and legal defense organization. Join us now as Matt Staver, founder and chairman of Liberty Council, explains the latest legal issues all across this country. In the courtrooms of America, Liberty Council is winning the battle for your constitutional freedom. A New Jersey law threatens to remove children from parents' households because they provide change therapy. Liberty Council has filed a federal lawsuit. I am Matt Staver, founder and chairman of Liberty Council. Joining me is Matt Barber, vice president of Liberty Council Action. Matt, this case is a mirror image, so to speak, of California, where New Jersey and Governor Chris Christie was part of this, signing this law in New Jersey that says change therapy, any kind of change counseling is banned. In other words, if you want to have your minor son or daughter have counseling to reduce or eliminate same-sex sexual attractions, behavior, or identity, it's banned immediately, effective the day that Governor Chris Christie signed this law, and now Liberty Council has filed a federal lawsuit to block it. Yeah, we talked about last week how uh, Governor Chris Christie uh, he bought hook, hook, line, and sinker, the homosexual activist propaganda. The mainstream media has been pushing for this uh, because the implications of the reality that people can change and untold thousands of people have, uh, there are former homosexuals who have left the lifestyle, found freedom, usually through a relationship with Christ. They know that that's devastating to their whole uh, born that way meme and propaganda that they push. So we talked a little bit last week about how ill-informed the governor is, uh, either that or this was politically motivated. But nonetheless, uh, things are already heating up. We filed a lawsuit now uh, in New Jersey, and we're, we're pushing forward to try to get it blocked as we did in California. And listen to this. This is from New Jersey Assemblyman Tim Eustace, who sponsored the bill. He's openly homosexual. He was on talk radio 1210 WPHT out of Philadelphia. I was on there as well. And listen to what he says about this bill. It is shocking. What this does is prevent things that are harmful to people. If, if a parent were beating their child on a regular basis, we would step in and remove that child from the house. If you pay somebody to beat your child or abuse your child, what's the difference? You know, this is unbelievable. He made that statement just before I was on the same talk program, and I heard that statement played back for me to listen to. And this is shocking. This is the sponsor of the bill. And he's openly homosexual, and he essentially is saying that they will take your children if you give them counsel by a licensed therapist regarding change of their same-sex attractions, behavior, or identity. They consider that abuse, and it's just as bad as if you were beating your kid in your house. They will actually remove yeah. your child from you. Yeah. Unbelievably shocking. Yeah, they're calling it uh, abuse, uh, child abuse, and they cite uh, the legislature and uh, uh, Eustace and Governor Christie cited uh, an ABA study, a task force, ABA. I mean, APA, excuse me, study task force that found, concluded that there is exactly zero uh, empirical evidence or research to suggest, other than anecdotal evidence, but zero empirical evidence or even research to suggest that, it, that uh, change therapy even harms minors, yet he is threatening, he's comparing this to child abuse. That's the, the, the trick here. This is unbelievable. So that they can come into your homes and take your children if you, uh, as you would, if they were being physically abused, if, you, if, you, if, you, if your children have unwanted same-sex attractions and even if they seek and want change therapy. Well, and the APA task force rejected any conservative psychologist or counselor, any professional that applied to be on that task force. And so it was a small group of people. They were all uh, very pro-homosexual. Some of them were homosexual. And even in that biased group, and by the way, one of them uh, commenting about this said that uh, they do not want to have anyone on that task force that would have a religious opposition or any other opposition to homosexuality, that that is not something that fits within their worldview. That's what they said. So they were excluding everyone. And even that biased task force, though, Matt, said that uh, there was evidence of benefit and there was zero research regarding children, none. Ev and, and that's only for adults. Again, for children, no research. Well, I'll read what they said here. They say <clears throat> they acknowledge that there's no evidence whatsoever that change therapy harms minors, 
uh, they uh, had said that uh, there are it shows varying degrees of satisfaction and varying perceptions of success. They uh, uh, acknowledged that participants had multiple endpoints, including LGB identity, ex-gay identity, no sexual orientation identity, and a unique self-identity, and that they reported, quote, a range of effects from their efforts to change their sexual orientation, including both benefits and harm. <clears throat> so both anecdotal, but there were reports of both bene benefits and harm, as there is with any kind of therapy. And, and for any therapy, there is no counseling that's 100% effective. And by the way, there is some counseling that looks at root causes. A lot of counseling looks at root causes. And when you're going back through those root causes, they can be painful for anyone who's in counseling. If you leave counseling early and don't follow through, uh, there's people in every area of counseling, whether it's um, uh, this area or whether it's in just emotional distress, uh, whether it's in uh, situations with how you're treating your spouse, uh, all of those issues, you can actually have stress by virtue of trying to relieve the stress. So counseling requires a commitment and no counseling is 100% effective. What they, what they did find though is that there was evidence of benefit. And so you can't actually say that we're going to ban under all circumstances, change therapy when, number one, there's evidence of benefit, and number two, there's no research on minors. And yet this uh, sponsor, uh, Tim Eustace, says that uh, it's like child abuse. And Governor Chris Christie says, you know, he's sympathetic about how this will interfere with the rights of parents, uh, but he's going to side with the experts. Well, Christie sided with the wrong side on this issue because Christie obviously didn't do his homework before he signed this bill. Well, and uh, Dr. Nicholas Cummings, former president of the APA, was outraged by this, and he said that it is disingenuous uh, to, to su suggest that all change therapy is unethical. And they bring out this parade of horribles. And, of and by the way, he did an op-ed in the USA Today right. uh, regarding this specific law. <clears throat> and so he came, uh, he, he voluntarily wrote an article for the USA Today op-ed on this particular law, and he was against this law. Now, he was actually part of the APA back in the 70s, and he was in favor of decriminalizing homosexuality. So he's not some uh, right-wing uh, conservative, but now he comes out and he blasts this law and he says that it's unfair to put all change therapy in this category and to ban it. And he also says, in fact, that it is a myth that homosexuality is immutable. Yeah, that's right. In fact, it can change. And, and we, we need to define the terms here. They bring out this parade of horribles of people have going through shock therapy and all kinds of weird, twisted, uh, fringe kind of practices that, that, that and nobody who's taken seriously is, is, is really is participating. And we're talking about talk therapy here. We're talking about, you know, uh, as we know, the archives of sexual behavior has demonstrated that 46 percent, according to their studies, a liberal publication, uh, have found that 46% of men who identify as gay were sexually molested as children by mm -hmm. another man, by a grown man, a pedophile, a homosexual pedophile, whereas only 7% of heterosexual men. So there's, uh, and the CDC research has found uh, uh, as much as three times the number of men who identify as gay were sexually molested. So we know, not, not in every instance, but we know there's a correlation. We know there's a correlation. Yeah, absolutely there's a correlation between. We know that there's severe health risk as well. So talk therapy is, is geared toward getting to the root what is causing these unwanted same-sex attractions, how do we reconcile those attractions with your your values? That It's simple as that. So they want to ban that because of the political implications. It's all political. It is not based on science. It's not based on reality. It's all political. And here you've got someone who's openly homosexual wanting to promote his agenda and literally silence any opposition so that the only counsel a counselor may give or a client might receive, in this case a minor and their parents, is that homosexuality is good. Go with it. Um, if you get molested by someone like Jerry Sandusky, it's no big deal that you're having these same-sex attractions, even though you don't want them. You just got to reconcile those with your religious values. Let's work on your religious values. That's 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 absurd. what we need to change. That's right. where this is going. This is politically motivated. Liberty Council has filed a federal lawsuit against it. Continue to pray for our case, and uh, we need your prayers and your financial support not only for this case, but for others that we are involved in around the country. But these kinds of cases are significant threats to not only our religious freedom, but also our free exercise of religion and to parental rights and the damage that it'll do if we don't block this law to children, to parents, and to counselors is incalculable. We have a similar lawsuit in California. This one is New, New Jersey now. 
and uh, some other states are considering similar laws as well. We've heard that Washington State and uh, Massachusetts, there are some rumblings there as well. So stand with Liberty Council as we stand in this case. Go to our website, lc.org. Order Dr. Judith Reisman's book, Stolen Honor, Stolen Innocence. She is a world-renowned expert on this issue of sexuality going all the way back to Alfred Kinsey. The book is Stolen Honor, Stolen Innocence. Go to Liberty Council's website, lc.org. You have been listening to Faith and Freedom with Liberty Council. We hope that we have motivated you to stand up for your faith, family, and freedom. We can accomplish a lot when we work together. Get informed and get involved today. Sign up for our free monthly newsletter, The Liberator. We will send it out to you free of charge. Stay informed with our Liberty Alert email updates. Just click on the website at www.lc.org or call us at 1-800-671-1776. Tune in next time to learn more about your rights right here on Faith and Freedom.